right, guys. So before we get into any of the beauty shots that I took for the the build once it was actually fully completed, uh, which I completed a few weeks ago, I've just been a little bit busy to film this part so that I could go ahead and upload the video. So the couple of snags that I hit, uh, more specifically one in particular when I was trying to bleed the loop. Um, in the spirit of full transparency, I screwed up and um, when I had everything hooked up and I had the dummy plug hooked into the 24 pin, I neglected to unplug the 8 pin EPS power from my CPU. It sat plugged in and powered up and power going straight to the CPU for a long time, long enough where the actual plexiglass top of the CPU cooler actually almost burned my hand when I touched it. Uh, so this poor little CPU is now dead. Um, this is a seven year old processor at this point. This is the AMD Phenom 2 uh, 1090T. Uh, I just, I had this system kind of just hanging around. It was the one I built before I had this nice rig here, this Ryzen. Um, so this was like a, had the extra spare parts sitting around, go ahead and build something fun, stick your old rig in it. I did, uh, actually the, the blot, the, uh, sorry, the GPU that I was going to stick in there. That is the RX 480. I was also had planned to do some videos on can a Phenom 2 keep up with the 480. Not going to get to do that. Um, so the rig itself was a failure. The build itself was a win. I think there was a lot of things that worked out really well. A uh, few other things that I did not get to do. The USB ports that I had actually made cutouts for from my old uh, IO, uh, the front panel IO on the old case that it came out of. Um, that stuff was not functional. Uh, literally none of it. Uh, I came up about this short to hook up the power and reset buttons. And I think about something like this short for the USB cables and having known ahead of time before I finished that the CPU would, I had <laughs> way overheated and fried this thing. Like it is, it is dead. Uh, I did try to boot up with it and I, at first I did get a RAM code and then I reseeded and then I came through and this thing's done. So rest in peace to that. Um, so that being said, when I completed the build, I did not bother hooking those up or buying new extensions or anything for a project that was never going to see the entire 100% light of day. Uh, the build itself was done and that's that was kind of the whole goal and I feel like that was a win. So you guys got to see that at least. But um, at the end of the day, when I was done with this, I was going to retire, or when I was done with the build and the a couple of videos I wanted to do with it, I was going to retire this thing anyways. So we're now retiring it full rest in peace style. And I'm going to be doing another video soon where I take this nice baseball display case and I'm going to mount it in here some kind of way. I haven't fully decided how that's going to go down, but I do have a couple of things I bought so I can try to mount that in here. In a really nice way so keep an eye out for that video and uh, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time we're gonna go straight to the beauty shots and uh, thank you for watching